So we are at Wangosh yeah. Waterfall. Yeah, so this is the largest waterfall in Asia. So it took about two hours, a little over two hours uh, from Goyan to get here uh, on the bus. So now we're here and we're going to figure out how to get up there. Yeah, the 5A towards the track. It's a 5A? Very, yeah, very highly rated. We're just at this like drop up area. A lot of vendors behind me. Got here. This is the uh, spring roll soup. Spring roll soup. Yeah, these are the spring roll, but when it's soggy, it does yeah. turn out be like that. It and like it's detaches meat. from the meat. It huh? looks pretty healthy, and then they have some. Um, it takes about 25 minutes to make them, so yeah, it must be we've been waiting for a while too. So you can tell they make it from scratch here. Yeah. It's what? Uh, we've got the potato dish, some rice. Hey guys. Hey guys. So we just had the uh, our finished the waterfall, finished the, wa waterfall the walk, and uh, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. And uh, as we heard from our tour guide, it's uh, right now it's not really the peak season. It's usually after May when the water volume really hits at its peak. And uh, right now it's still pretty majestic, pretty incredible. And uh, yeah, I can only imagine what it looks like when it's like so Yeah. And what I really like this place is that not only the beauty of uh, the waterfall, it's all, also the people here. I mean, it's the local ethnic people, they're living such a simple life. They're trying hard to sell their local cuisines and, and uh, work very hard to, uh, to be part of, part of this town, represent this town. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. It's so picture. It's just so picturesque. So picturesque, yeah. Like I never thought when I thought of China, I never thought it'd be like so green and like so many different types of environments. Like here is more tropical and humid. Like it's, it's kind of strange. Like I said, it's Very not peaceful. not everyone is so fortunate, you know, in this world. Yeah, so. we kind of we just are really grateful. Just coming on this trip, we're so grateful and thankful for what we have back home, and really get to sense how like feel how lucky we are. I know, and the people are just living such a simple life. Everybody's equal. Everybody has their own identity. Yeah, you really learn to appreciate like that we are just so small and insignificant. And world there's like so many people and they're all living their own life and it's just it's kind of crazy when you think about it oh there's so many people here check out the crowds you guys it's we are live it's crazy yeah, you just only see people that's all I yeah. We are on a bus that is only allowed 12 people, but there is probably about 70 people on the bus, and that's what it looks like. Playing with the kids. Make sure to subscribe, hit that red button below, hit the bell button to be notified every time we post a new video, and just um, come along on this crazy trip with us.